welcome again to Morrowind Monday. We are here on top of the Tower of Master Arian. Let's just first levitate it down and then take a look at our to-do list. There we are. I was a little bit disoriented for a few minutes. I think I slam. There we go. Yes, this is where the exit is, so let us real quick take a look at our to-do list and see where to go next. We're still in pursuit of... Um, no, we have 5,000 gold, so let me show the to-do list. We do have our 5,000 gold, so I can tick this check mark, and now we can buy the wizard's stuff from the skill steward in Balmora, which we're going to do. And as you can see, the to-do list vanished the moment... Well, you only noticed half of it. The doodle list vanished the moment I clicked back into the game. This is an addition that I made to the little software that displays it. So whenever I leave the software, the to-do list will close because I always forget closing it. Yes. No more obstructed screen for you while I'm playing. Okay, so also there are some few other things to do in Balmora, so we're going to check if we can do that. And I'm pretty sure we already have done the part to check for quests in Balmora. I, I saw this right before I started the stream. I went through the, quickly went through the to-do list and s made a few tweaks. Namely, there was something visible which should have been invisible and... Um, Things like these. Okay, let's head to Sedrath Mora and then, <coughs> excuse me, from there to Balmora. While I'm coughing, I should drink something and you should also have a drink. So if you don't have something to drink right in front of you, go and fetch something, pause the video. And if you have something, take a sip like I'm doing right now. <sighs> Remember folks, stay hydrated. It's important. So we are heading over to the Mages Guild. Of course, I chose a fizzy drink right when I'm recording, which means I'm getting air into my belly. Uh, I'm sorry if you hear me, if you hear my sil nearly silent burps. I'm trying to not do this too loudly, not to annoy you. So we're going to head right here then up the stairs as always this to be honest this is the only way that i actually know up these stairs through the imperial thing and then through imperial shrine right up this staircase and then here we are major guild thank you very much you're the guild guide right no you're the spell master well let me see do you have something that restores attribute i'm pretty sure i already checked but I do have a goodbye. I do have a also an entry to get a restore attribute spell. So Balmora off to oh, Wajira. It's so nice to see you. Oh, that's so nice from you. But you can have you can keep your sugar yourself. I have enough money to buy my own stuff. To buy my own stuff. That is wizard stuff, um, which I'm going to buy right now. But it's really nice from Azira to offer us her sugar, right? So there we go. <clears throat> it was Ranis Afris. I always forget her name, but she is um, pretty... Um, what's the word? Um, arrogant anyways. <clears throat> so I wanted to have that wizard's staff. And I'm going to buy it. Very well. I will take your gold. I assume it's all there. And I'll give you this wizard's staff. You're now ready for advancement. Congratulations, you are now Nighty the Wizard. Let me take that off of the list. No, I ticked one once too, too many. It was asking for more oh, duties. Um, since it did not react immediately, I clicked a second time because I thought it didn't react and then I clicked the same thing. So let's real quick run over. I could reactivate that thing. Oh, let me. Yeah. But if we do it right now, 
let's see how, of course we don't, we can't. Resist, 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 bound, 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 bound. I have no clue how good these bound some things are. Let me guess, ah, I have enough money to travel over to that was set with Mora. How are you? That was Skink in Tree's Shade. Do you have some duties? I'm concerned about the continuing problems with these strange ash creatures. Perhaps if I had a soul of one of these creatures to study, would you bring me the soul of an ash ghoul? An ash ghoul? The soul of any ash ghoul should be suitable. I believe the nearest ash ghoul is in Yakin. Scrolls are more reliable than spells, so take these scrolls and these two soul gems. Yakin? It's a cavern on the mainland, just northwest of Talarun. Swim or fly northwest, cross one island, and you should see the cave entrance ahead on the mainland. It's been taken over by the sixth house, so be careful. Okay, so this might be interesting. What can I do for you? This might become interesting. Share your thoughts, friend. Let us see. Let us head out here. What? I'm just passing through. So I forgot the direction already. Let me quickly open the journal. It was northwest of Tel Arun. Okay. Tel Arun. I see this name on the on the list of places where quests are. So if we're there, we can also just do the quest first. Which, of course, means I need to pull this one. Sorry, don't forget. Need to put this one in. So this was for Skink in Wolverine Hall. I have... Trap, Soul of Ash, Ghoul, that was northeast of Tel Arun. In cave, northeast of Tel Arun. There we go. So we are going to do this, and also there is a spell in Tel Arun. Let me, that is visiting someone. Let me enable that one too, because this is this is what we should do right when we there we go right when we're there okay i i assume that telarune is uh, goable too by boat somehow englishing is not that easy this evening well i had a very very strong headache this this morning anyway i had to um the headache forced me to stop working and I had to lie down and I slept for three whole hours. Please join me. And still the headache wasn't fully gone yet. Now that the headache's finally gone, I decided to do a bit of self-care for the rest of the day and um, record this. Because I'm also right now not in the best mental states. Let's go see to the room. No, it's not. And also, I don't have the money, so let me see. Tel Arun is over there. Okay, so I can just walk over there with my water walking skill. <clears throat> Let's see water walking. We have two minutes. And that would be this, this here direction. Ish. And let's just run over the water. This is the island before Telarun, just come over here. <clears throat> Don't matter much to me. And I guess this is it. It is this. Ah, it's this mage's tower. Okay. 
Well, I think tell something always is a major tower, so. Okay. So, first of all, we are going to check um, for the. F for, for Mar Mary's friend. That's a completely different name. I mean, I have no clue where they are, but they're supposedly in here. And they will be very thankful. Tower entry. That's an apothecary. Or however this word is pronounced. In German, we do have the, we do have the word apotheke, which is similar. And it basically means pharmacy. And I assume that this word also means pharmacy. And that's that it's two words which are kind of similar. Okay, he's also a slave market. Say your needs. Let me real quick check. I do have something with slave market. Oh yeah, it says slave market in Alrun directly. Okay, I have this one marked on my map. You know what? I'm real quick going to um, to resort these. Um, to resort these. Uh, oh, they are okay. They are already. I have a quest called Free Slaves, um, but I can switch over to the local map and see if I find the name. Okay, the pot and plaster could be interesting. And of course, also the underground. But I think now I'm just running. Yeah, that's just the trader, and he's and, uh, I haven't much time. not the person I'm supposed to see. The person was also with some. That's a thing. I'm hard. It's it's hard to pronounce for me, especially in English. But it's a, for me, it's a French-looking name. Though I have to admit, I might be very ignorant with that with that notion. Uh, oh, and then we have here something. We have something here. However, pot and plaster. Let's see. That's not I the name. Out, it's it basically, good. if I hear, if I read the name, I will see it. That's the name. Em, you said Brax. Brax, I guess. I don't think we've been introduced, Outlander. I'm Emuset Brax. How can I help you? Well, I've been sent by Mori or Min. Ah, oh, so you're the one who brought Mori and Nilos together. Nothing has been seen or heard of them since then. But the bards are singing songs of their love. Well done, Nighty. Please take these as a token of my gratitude. Mm, free exclusive restore health. Thank you very much. I'm sure they'd be very happy together. Yeah, me too. Do you, can, can you train me at restoration? Nice. Thank you. I just wanted to, to see you. So let's real quick tick that one off the list. There we go. And now we just go into that cave. Just real quick check the journal again. Just to see it was uh, just just so the it is northwest, not northeast. See, I was right to doubt my own memory. So northwest would be in this direction. Oh, who's that? Some guy is looking around. Stentus Tilius. And that's the slave market again. So should be here, yes, cross one island and then it's, it's it should be over there. Let's see. I mean I have water walking so I can just walk over, cross the island, and then we're good to go. We should be good to go. This is also I can see in, 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 the, in the far end of the island has water walking. I want to real quick save it heal. And then walk over to the next island here. I do hope that we're strong enough to do this. To pull this off, actually. Because if the sixth house is there, um, they should be pretty strong. 
but I think we've already been in a cave. I might, it might even be that we already had fought ash ghouls. I'm not not 100% sure. We do have still over a minute left. And back down again, and then we should see the cave on the mainland. When it was said mainland, I was actually confused because um, I know that Vardenfell is an island and there is the mainland, like the main continent, kind of. Um, so I s somehow thought this is, this is what they meant. Um, but luckily, we don't need to go over to the mainland of Morrowind. I'm going to check the beach first. Just to see if the cave entrance is somewhere here, which I assume, because it said that I should be able to see the cave entrance already. When I cross over, and I, I'm pretty sure this is the cave entrance. So healing up again, which also drops a quick save, and this is Yakin, yes. So we can't, we could sneak, but the thing with sneaking in this game is, is this an ash ghoul? You know what, I can just, can just uh, see by going there and seeing what kind of enemy it is. This is not displayed. Yes, I know that I'm, I'm it doesn't display what kind of enemy this is. Or maybe if I killed it. Because I went. That was an Ash Slave, okay? So that's not what I wanted to trap. I basically just want to know what an Ash Ghoul is. Is it this? So I can get out and heal. And my rest has been interrupted by this fella. Another interruption. Hmm. Ah, that was a blighted in sound, okay. And the, these are all blighted, okay? This is why they are so strong. The rest until healed. And again, the rest has been interrupted. Damn you. Also, I should resort to what I did last time, because training, this is just a diseased one. Um, I should summon a bone walker or something like that. No, I want to press a T to rest. There we go. Now we saved. I know that. I have nothing lost, because... If there's only one Ash Ghoul in here, and I kill it, I don't know if it's a, that might be an Ash Ghoul. Let me see if I can. Mm. Soul Trap for 60 seconds. One target. So we have Soul Trapped it, and now we're going to summon a Bone Walker. Now we're going to summon a skeletal minion. I don't know if these actually count towards us. Um, Dominator helper. Oh, that one's nice. That one's really nice, actually. Wow. Well, unless, unless they kill us. Nice. Wow.
I don't know if it was the Frost Atronach that killed us, or if it was something else. But I'm going to go with... I actually think it needs to be me who kills him. So let me see. No, that was a lame corpus, okay? And it gives up this corpus weepings. This is not what we want. This means I need to load because I only have two of these and uh, so I only have two tries. So I'm loading the autosave that it dropped. And I'm going to kill it just normally. I'm going to try again the helper belt to see if um, if I ca um, summon them and then basically don't uh, kind of stay away from them. If this actually helps me. The other hand is, I don't know if, if doing so There is. If doing so will actually help me learn magic. So I summoned them. And now they are. Oh, that lame that lame creature is, is really slow. Okay, so now they're attacking. I'm going to stay away. I think it was collateral damage. And they are wow, they're super and of course the storm atronach, the one that is that is that killed me also. And it's nice to know. So I can just press F5. Okay, let's see. So the thing that I wanted to say is that um, in the following games you you can just walk around sneaking, and it increases your sneak skill. So this should be an ash zombie or something. Okay, so now he's gone. And he's gone too. Let's see, if this was an ash ghoul I need to reload. That's an ash zombie. the left we go. Honestly, I do want to learn to summon stuff, and I don't know if the belt does that, so I'm going to just summon the Bone Walker. But it's, it is an interesting belt. Also, it removed our pauldron when we put on the other thing to summon the other creatures. He's, by the way, using a shield spell, which I put into my to-do list of using more of them. Okay, since this is an ash zombie, it's not... Uh, and it's very strong, okay. Wow, I did not foresee this strength, but I guess it is just because we're now in... Six, sixth house basically means end game ish material. A slave, that was what it was, yes, exactly. We can just go here, have some. Just using them to clear the area. Um, because I know this is. An endless death animation. 
there's nothing here, there's nothing there. Those three are going to be resummoned at some point anyway. I still have charge. Wow, this thing has lots of charges. So I'm going to go. It sounds like like it's a robot that is um, like steam powered or something. The worst that could happen is that this was the only ash ghoul in the whole cave. It is very strong, I have to admit. My Atronix are blocking the way, which is unfortunate. This is an ash ghoul, okay. And I've contracted a, a blight. And do I have cure blight disease? Well, I need to. I need to check when I'm when I'm out. Um, okay, since I know that this is an Ash Ghoul, I'm going to I'm going to try capturing it now. Even though it means I need to reload the save game again. I'm sorry for the repetition, but as I said, I don't know if this was the only Ash Ghoul in the whole cave. That would be very sad. So if I go here, there is the Ash Slave, which I can easily dispatch. Ash Zombie. And then if I head over to the other side, I need to prepare my Gem Feeder. And... Let's see if this works. Let me drop a quick save here. Seems like it just now. Now I hit it, and now let me try. Let me try if this works. If I capture the soul, even though they kill it, yes, I have trapped a soul. So I have trapped a soul, and the trapped soul is a ash ghoul. Nice. Thank you very much. I'm not going to interact with the corpse because the last time I contracted the blight disease. And yes, I'm aware that I said I don't care about the disease. Uh, that was basically, if I get it, I don't care about it because I should be able to heal it. I assume I'm able to heal it. But let's see. So we are going back to Skink, and this should be able, if we have it, scroll off um, CV intervention. No, MCV intervention goes to a temple. We would want to go to an Imperial Shrine, which means we have to real quick heal. Our blade is strong enough to dispatch of them easily. There we go. And let's walk over water. The reason why I'm doing it like this is because um, the microphone is right in front of my keyboard, so it's hard to do 10 finger typing. I always need to reach around the microphone. Okay, so I'm heading over back and report to Skin Country Trade. There is another cave to explore. Even though we just were in a cave, I'm going to note it down. It is Nullet. It will not appear on my map, right? No, Nullet is... I do have a cave spelunking thing, I'm pretty sure. Yes, cave spelunking. Mm. Cave Spelunking Nullet uh, Northeast of Tel Arun. There we go. It is saved for it 
for some point in time. And uh, we head over. Of course, this is no guarantee that this cave spelunking will actually happen at some point in time. This is just the marker, and if I do cave spelunking, I'm going to check one of them. But if we finish the game, uh, that said, I of course mean with the add-ons, since I'm playing with Tribunal and Blood Moon. So not just the main quest. If we finish the game, then we can talk. So this is Telarun, and this means Sedrith Mora should be over here. Hello you. Deal with the Bone Walker. Or not. Then we do it this way. Let me put the weapon away. I don't want to scare the people running around here by running around with an unsheathed weapon. Also, we want to... I have learned strong shield spell written here. Maybe we can even do shield with alchemy. But I guess we would need to get way better in alchemy before we can do this. No, that was right. That was the right button. But I need to select the right spell. So. Back to where we need to be. What's that? There's someone's stuff laying around here. So it seems like there's someone bathing in the water somewhere. I hope they didn't drown or get killed by something. Oh, here is. This is, I guess, where they sleep. But there is nowhere where they are. Okay, we can't open the we can't can't look into the chest. There's money in there. I don't want to steal from from someone who's just bathing in the in the sea. No, this is just a I was I was just looking if there is some like clue to what happened here. Because one thing that Bethesda likes to do is is to add little little stories of people just by um, arranging stuff some in, in some way. And here I think the story is, or at least the story that my brain creates from this, is that someone went into the sea and left just left their stuff laying around. This is where we need to go. Just left their stuff laying around so it would get wet when they went to the water, obviously. And we don't know what happened with them. Maybe they're just swimming around somewhere. Maybe they drowned. Maybe some bandits killed them and they or kidnapped them. We have no clue. And I'm just going to assume they're still swimming around. We just didn't find them. I mean, I don't have a button to shout for someone. Hey! Someone there? So your stuff is laying around here, unprotected. Should I put it into your chest? You know, something like this. Anyhow, choose a direction. Thank you. I'm going to choose the other one, else we block each other. This, ne this, this seems to be a British guard because he went to the left. Oh, well, or Japanese. And, um,. Then let's see what Skink in Trees Shade also has for us. Also, we should check on our... Um, well, the reason why we're here, the reason why we got got uh, deprisoned um, originally was that we're now part of the Blades. So we should check if we now blend in well enough to get a mission from our Blade Master. Basically, just advance the main quest by a little bit. 
I only have a few moments. There we go. I think walking around with the paws up like that looks Share a bit weird. Thoughts, friend. I enjoy Please. Oh. Skink, I'm back. I do have the soul of an ash school for you. Here it is. Yes, this will do nicely. I hope it wasn't too difficult. Thank you for bringing me into the soul of an ash school, wizard. Do you have some more duties for me? Let me first click away that thing. Duties. I have another task for you, wizard, but it's a difficult one. I believe there is another book on vampires. Galua Rithari's papers. What's that? These papers allegedly describe how an ordinator from Balur became a vampire and was cured. I would be most interested in a copy of this book. Ask booksellers and scholars. Somebody surely knows where a copy is. So this again is for Skink and Wolverine Hall and he does want me to search for the bo book Galua Rithari's papers. There we go. And I do know, ah, well, I can do this later. Let me put this in preparation for next time. Add known booksellers to search for book quest. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm all yours. Please go ahead. Please speak. Oh, thank you so much. But I need to say farewell to the viewers right now because we're already over 30 minutes. And um, I'm going to see you next week on Morrowind Monday. Bye bye.